Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Roads to Glory. It's episode 182 and in today's episode we've got a few drafts, a few packs. I decided to do those two for one packs when that big promo out, foot play days, whatever. I think it's like gone now already. You know, it just comes and goes that promo. But obviously we're going to do them packs. Obviously this is the team as well. But anyway, we're going to start off with an 85 times 5 Now, yes, I'm putting in Kessie. Road to the final Kessie. But he's not a live item anymore because Man United obviously beat them in the Europa League. So he's not going to get upgraded anymore and he's never going to get in my team. Let's face it, we've got Rooney, we've got Kimmich, we've even got like, uh, I don't even know, we've got someone on the bench. We've got Modric on the bench, that's it. So he's never going to get into the team. Uh, and I had some duplicate untradeable fodder like uh, Shakiri, so we've got him back into the club as well. So I thought, you know what, let's just send it and hope for a good... Uh, pack so we're going to start off with the first pack it was 75 plus it's never going to be that good it was dest and now here we go the 85 times 5 obviously there's no foot birthday out so hopefully we'll just get a big player it's a walkout it's a good start it's obviously normal gold it's going to be brazilian left wing please for the boys no cdm it's going to be casemiro which is better than fabinho obviously so i'll take that 89 rated it's massive fodder uh, but obviously i've got to get something behind it for it to be worthwhile and well not really. We get 385s and an 86. I literally put Luis Alberto, Rodri, and Summer in, and I've got another Summer back that I claimed just before I opened them two packs. So I've got too many Summers basically. But anyway, I'll take Casemiro because you know I've already, I've, I've well, I've not got him in the club, uh, and you know we'll just take it. So then we do a play pick, and unfortunately it's only Zahavi, but you know it is what it is. So here we go then. Now. These came out like, I don't know when it was, I don't know when it was actually now, maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't actually know, my days are all messed up, but here we go, we're going to open, I believe, four 25k packs for half the price, so technically we're opening two at normal cost, but four in obviously the half price, so the first one is going to be in a non-board, and obviously the good news about this is play picks are out at the same time, right, so all the non rare golds are going to sell for 700 coins a piece, so you're going to nearly make your money back. So it's a little bit of a risk by obviously opening these, and obviously, you can get someone sick like an icon or an Mbappe near that, and you can boost your coins so much. So the second one, unfortunately for me, was not a board again. Back to back non boards, I mean, that's just great. It's just what you want to see. No, I'm joking, it's not. We've got Sergio Senjo, and then we're going to stick the rest up for 700 coins for the non res, and then a bit more for the res. The third pack, come on, it needs to be a little bit better than a non-board for this bit to be worthwhile. Unfortunately, it's not a walk on again, it's not a board. So, uh, yeah, not great. We get Rudiger. I mean, I don't really know what's going on here. The pack weight must have been just absolutely dead because everybody's opening them. But we'll do one more here. Another 12.5k, maybe down the drain, maybe not, maybe well spent. Unfortunately, it's not a walk on again, it's not a board fantastic just exactly what you want i think i even open one more to be honest with you uh yes we do so i've just gone full in i've gone i've i've sent it i've i've done five and again it's not a workout but it's a board so if it's an 85 to make a little bit of coins it's portuguese center mid from wolves which is gonna be jamatino so you know it's the lowest possible rated board and it's probably one of the worst boards so great i mean he was selling for like 2.8k at the time don't know how much he's now but it'll probably be a little bit less and as you can see we lost about 10 15k but you know it was worth it you know we opened five packs and we only lose like 10k is pretty much nothing in it really and obviously you're going to gamble because you could literally pack someone sick uh, and obviously it makes so much money so i thought you know what let's just risk it because we don't really do much uh, with the road score coins at the minute obviously team of the season is around the corner hopefully if the leaks are correct it's next friday for the community tots that is quality i cannot wait we'll save some packs i think on thursday i'm gonna save on pack rewards and obviously just open my reds and then we'll do probably a video on the market crash which is happening and then my like project team of the year if you want to call that like the penfest does we'll do something like that probably to just sort of let you know what i want to do and what I, where i want to take this road to glory but anyway got a few more 81 pluses i do believe we've got like four maybe i'm not too sure actually how many we've got in this set we have got four uh, three never mind i thought we had four but anyway we'll open these up 
Hopefully they're good. The first one is going to be a Tadic, so it's a decent little board rating. We'll take it. It's better than nothing. The second one is going to be, again, another 83, but we pick 84 Berkey because he popped out at the end. And then the final player is going to be a nice 82 in form, Matheus, which is decent. The goalkeeper, the Brazilian, so he's got good Brazilian links. And there's obviously an in form, so that's good for SBC. It's like the Drogba that's just come out. That looks a mad card. I've used him in draft. I don't know if it's this draft actually uh, that you're about to see now, but he's ridiculous. I think it is, you know. Uh, yeah, it is because, yeah, look who we get for the first player. Ronaldo or Prime Akimoto's Ronaldinho. I've used Ronaldinho, so I thought let's just use Ronaldo. What a start that is. And then we get the cheese that is Ben Yedder, and then we're going to get ourselves a Kevin De Bruyne. Could have maybe got his team of, season, team of the year, sorry there, but, you know, we'll pick up his team of the season. Uh, uh, his group stage, never mind. I'm absolutely all over the shop. Uh, the next couple of picks are great. We could have gone with Modric there, but we're going to go with Party for the links. And then we're going to get ourselves a nice Kyle Walker to play centre back, possibly if we get a better right back. Uh, but we do get a nice little Van Dyke there. I mean, he's an interesting one. Like with this market crash, I think he's like 100k or something, 150k. His um, rule breaker card is like 200 and something, so he's coming down massively, and obviously every little card's coming down, well not every little card, every like big top tier card, like Alfonso Davis, we sold him like a week or two ago for like 1.4 mil, he's 1.1 mil now, so if I hadn't sold him, um, when I did, I'd have lost so many more coins, I'd have lost an extra 300k essentially. Which is so lucky that I saw him when I did. Uh, but anyway, back to this draft, we have got a nice little what if Regulion. He's upgraded, and I swear we're at 87 at the start. Now he's obviously 89. Then we could have picked the boy one man, but obviously we got ourselves Bruno Fernandes, who's a very good centre mid. He's in forms and then higher of obviously just class, but I think his normal cards are not great anymore. Uh, but obviously that in form is very good. There you go, we've got a nice little prime drug, but now this guy is insane, right? He's only about 500k on the market now. And his prime icon moments is now an SBC. Now that's only worth like 1.4 million, 1.3 million, or something like that. You can do that pretty well with a fodder. I mean, I was really contemplating doing him right, but I thought team of the seasons are on the corner. You're going to get guaranteed team of the season packs left, right, and centre. So I'm going to hold off. But it's out for seven weeks, so there is a lot of possibility that we'll be able to complete him with fodder that we get from loads of packs that come out during the next couple of like weeks and days and whatever when team of the season drops, which I honestly can't wait for because this game's getting a little bit dead now, let's be honest. But anyway, first game of the draft, he gets Pele and Hullet. Prime as well, both two very good cards. He's also got um, foot birthday Adama. He's also very insane. I think he was like 1.7 mil when he came out. He's now like 700k, like this is what I mean by the market crash. But anyway, Jogba plays a nice little ball into R9 and honestly, R9 is probably the best player I've used all year. I, I mean, I'm going to say it there. I mean, Pele is good, yeah, but R9 can just finish. Anyway, did you see that lag there? Honestly, my internet were on a Madden and he scores that somehow. I don't know if it's gone past my keeper, but it's Pele to be fair. So, you know, you can't really complain. But from kickoff, we do pick up the ball with our nine. Unfortunately, it gets tackled, and this is not good. We could be susceptible for the counter attack. This is not good. Good tackle. There you go. Now we can get on the break. Drogba and Ronaldo pulling the strings up front. Nice little ball from Ronaldinho. In, not Ronaldinho to Drogba. Why did I say Ronaldinho? I don't know. But Drogba scored. And anyway, we go three one up. And I'm pretty sure he quits. Yes, he does. So we'll take that 100%. This 5-3-2 in draft is ridiculous. I know it's class like in foot champs and stuff. But obviously, we're not a sweat. We don't play far at the back. But in um, in draft, it's absolute quality. And I'll put the wing backs to join the attack every every time like, I pause it to start the game and get the subs on. Because like you can't play five at the back, can you? You, you don't want to do that. You want to push forward and get the goals. Because that's how I like to play. I like to play aggressive. Anyway, what a ball that is from Drug But I don't know what his passing stats are. But that is a quality ball into Ronaldo's feet. And he's gone and scored. So that's fantastic. Puts us one up in the second round. But then he gets that goal. Like, he, he shot it, came off Allison, came off him, then back off Allison or something. I don't even know. It was too quick for my eyes. But we do another L1 hour on through ball. Drogba's now in, and he's chipped the goalkeeper. He's probably the best finisher I've used all year. And I'm not even joking. Like, yeah, I say Ronaldo's good. But this Drogba card, I mean, apart from that miss, but it went in anyway. I mean, this game was just full of rebound shots and everything. Pretty sure he messaged me after the game saying, like, 
Uh, you got about 40 rebounds, but did you see the first goal that he scored? Anyway, he got a nice little header there with Mbappe, and we do another L1-R1 uh, through ball into Drogba, who's going to smash it. I mean, the power on that strike is just incredible. He's such a monster, and I do like him in real life, to be fair, like when he played for Chelsea and stuff. I remember back to when he played for Bradford, not, not played for Bradford, played against Bradford, sorry, and they were just like holding off, muscling off our defenders like it was nothing. He was just a quality baller, but we still beat him anyway, 4-2. What a score. And uh, obviously Mourinho wasn't happy, but we move on to the third game then, uh, and this is a very interesting team as well. He's got foot birthday Modric in there, uh, he's also got himself a keeper on about four chemistry, so hopefully we can get some goals. Obviously when keepers are off chem in this game, they act like just Pinocchio, they don't know what they're doing in net. I don't know why I said Pinocchio, I just came out of my head but we got one up pretty early on with a drug but he's just again like i said he's a monster in the box but then rashford equalizes so i'm like well the game could be on our hands here and to be fair this guy was a good player and i probably only beat him because he had like a four chem keeper i mean we scored a nice little goal there but Maybe the keeper could could have done better if he won better chem. And then Ronaldo gets through again. Nice little bridge past the defender. Well, he already passed the defender. He just had to do it for the speed boost. We go 3-1 up. And uh, yeah, he quits. So we're into the final. Decent. Not going to lie. I, it genuinely took like, I don't even know, maybe 20, 25 minutes to get to the final. So not bad at all. And we move on to the final. Ronaldo, Pele, Garincha, Xavi, Desai. What is this draft? And obviously he's got that. He's got well lucky as well with his links because he's got Courtois and Varane who gets a strong link. He needs that strong link. Well, actually, no, he doesn't because he gets one from Desai. But then he's got uh, Tierney and also Thomas Partey. So that's a nice little strong link for him as well. But anyway, we've got one up here. I'm pretty sure Drog, but I mean, he's just a god in the box. Give him the ball in the six, 12 yard box. He's going to score. Uh, and then Ronaldo does play it. Uh, nice little one two and he's in this is not good is he gonna score yes he is uh, and i'm not gonna lie i think i struggled a bit with lag in this game it just sort of like froze a few times it was a bit weird but drogba again is a menace he's a menace and we're two one up which is brilliant then drogba takes this strike i mean what a ridiculous strike that is uh, and that does put us three one up uh 44 minutes on the clock i mean i'm pretty sure it takes a deflection off the defender or something because it went down as an own goal oh no it doesn't maybe not that good it was a different goal then uh, but anyway we go 4-1 up here i mean i'm really right in the final maybe we can make it five or drogba's in again balls the keeper again it is five five one and drogba scored like four of the goals maybe even five i don't even know he scores another one here he's just on fire and the ball will the ball will shot like sort of um what do you call it I don't know what you call it, like sequence if you want to call it that, he, he does really well with it and he's in again, like look at the power that he's got in his legs and he just smacks it in, it's 8-1, um, okay, then we make it 9 just before the end with Ronaldo and that pretty much seals the game obviously, 9-1 probably sealed it about 50 minutes ago but anyway, we've won the draft and obviously we've got some rewards so we get ourselves two 25k packs that have just literally given us like 5 non-boards or four on boards and a board. Cheers, appreciate it. And then obviously the two 5k packs are in there as well. So we'll open the 5k packs first. And unfortunately, we're not going to get anything. Because the 5k packs, we're not pie fish. We don't pack Pele's. We just pack non boards non-res from uh, 5k packs. And that's the interesting thing actually. Icons. You can pack icons in bronze and silver packs still. And that's good. I might just like spend 250k on silver packs. Try get... Nah, I'm joking obviously. That never happened to me. Obviously my luck's been incredible. This year with Maradona and Pele from the two icon packs that we've done. Uh, the pick for obviously Pele. And then the pack from icon swaps for Maradona. So I've been quite lucky. So I don't think I'm going to get anything else. As you can see I'm just listing up the non-rare golds for 700 coins. Because obviously they're selling for that minute due to the player picks that everyone's doing and people are saving player picks for team of the season now i would but that means i can't open any packs and as a content creator i have to open packs because that's what you like to see so i'm gonna have to just not do them unfortunately hopefully they'll come back out for team of the season though they do need to do that hope actually just no killed my hand that's something that you should be expecting actually um icon pack an icon pack should be coming out right listen to me listen unless it's a prime icon moment and it's not that expensive don't do it and the reason for it is because team of the season cards are going to be way better than pretty much every icon in this game apart from you know your ronaldo's your pele's your maradona's the top levels they're fine but if you're going to be getting like 
I don't know, a 93 or low rated, you're not going to be, it's not going to be as good as the team of the season card basically, so hold off, yeah, and save your coins, save your fodder, team of the season comes about, you'll pack way more team of the seasons and you'll enjoy it more, honestly, trust me, 110%, that's exactly what I'm doing, if the icon pack is not like the top tier, like, give us like a 92 plus prime icon, if they do that, I might do it, but if not, I probably won't. So that was pretty much the last pack, and that is going to round off the end of the episode. So, you know, as we just sell a few players, this Sacco, he were a good player actually at, at Liverpool, and then he just decided to do drugs. So don't do drugs, kids. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will catch you in the next one tomorrow.